Hi there. There's always something happening in Paris, right? Putting the romantic stuff aside, I'm concentrating this week on all the retail happening. I'm going to be looking particularly at some uh, department stores uh, and some retail concepts that have been popping up around the city. I hope I will have the time to go through all of them and uh, then um, dive in with you uh, through all of these beautiful concepts that I have seen. The weather isn't super cool, <laughs> even though it's June, it has been pouring. So I'm taking advantage for uh, this little slot, <laughs> this little break, um, because it's not raining, but it's very windy, as you can see. And I'm going to uh, take you through the um, department store that had recently opened uh, and uh, discover it with you for the first time. The weather isn't super cool, <laughs> even though it's June, it has been pouring. So I'm taking advantage for uh, this little slot, <laughs> this little break. Um, because it's not raining but it's very windy as you can see and I'm going to uh, take you through the um, department store that had recently opened uh, and uh, discover it with you for the first time.
It took 15 years to, to do the renovation and I believe it's, it's a great uh, way to to announce the, um, the opening of the department store after the confinement and it, it, it shows how important retail and physical retail is and how people still like to come to uh, the department store to touch, to see, to feel and to discover everything that is, um, uh, that, that is suggested and the offering, the collection, the brand, the selection of brands that are here. I'm, I'm going to try to show you all of this and I'm going to continue the tour with you. I'm taking the staircase this time. I'm showing you some of the, the details on the ceiling that's right on top of me. Of course, all of the services or extra services that are now part of any retail experience are also proudly presented <laughs> and suggested. And you can see um, the attention to detail with regards to the signage is also very important. And I'm not the only one taking a lot of pictures and videos here. I mean, the, the decor is fascinating. Look at that. Beautiful. And there has been a lot of attention to space management and you can see that all the spaces uh, have been filled however uh, you still feel that the space is not cluttered which is really important so everyone moves um, in a uh, free and pleasant way and even if there were lots of people on the same floor in the same area, you can still manage to uh, continue your, your shopping um, trip. And I've made it to the top floor. And it took me a minute to go on the, <laughs> on the stairs, on the escalator, because everyone was taking photos. I wanted to show you this. So beautiful. And I will take the time to just turn around to show you the beautiful details and how everything had been perfectly renovated and preserved. On this top floor, there are many restaurants under the arches. And I'm going to also show you all of this. We're going to go all the way through for you to see um, the projection also on the other side on Paris and some scenes actually from the Par uh, Parisian city I'm taking a little moment also to, to, to look at other people <laughs> and what they're doing the opening ha was yesterday so I believe that everyone will be coming in um, this week just to discover the place and to take photos everyone is taking photos it's crazy and I stopped a while ago recording to take photos of the beautiful ceiling and the work look at that to show you this space.
I mean, who doesn't want to spend some time uh, uh, doing a virtual, even if it was a virtual tour from Paris, and just dreaming of the beautiful scenery. And I took them to sit on in this little uh, beautiful lounge to, to dive in also into the experience uh, and watch with everyone else uh, the projection uh, of uh, the top rooftop of La Samaritaine uh, on the Puna and the Eiffel Tower. So I will just show you that one more uh, time and I'm going to uh, go back to the other section of the department store. So this is the final uh, couple of shots that I'm going to take. I'm showing you the exterior and there are lots of uh, details to look at as well. I'm going to just uh, walk through the window um, to show you as well the details uh, of the windows and the window displays. So this is the first window again. The brand identity is all around. There are uh, on all of the windows like uh, little messages as you can see. And I believe that repeating like the same uh, color coding on the windows plays an important role, like reinforcing the image with of what you see inside and outside. And this is um, the second set of windows that I'm walking you through as well. More of a luxurious appeal, showcasing more of high-end brand, high brands. Okay, and this is me saying hello, and I hope that you enjoyed um, this tour, and I hope to be able to show you more in a few. Might as well end up uh, by saying that it's good to be out, it's good to see other people, it's good to be able to breathe a little bit when we're outside, and I'm going to drop like a little shot here to show you that there is another Avito related building, and we'll see what they're going to do with it and with it. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour at La Samaritan and the beautiful decor and I'm going to be walking now towards other destinations.